I know, it's a busy summer, you have a lot to do, you don't have time to be scouring the streets looking for all the latest arts picks. Relax, that's why you've got me. Hi, I'm Joey Panic, and I am the Art Whisperer, and I am in Tolls Court Artist Colony. This hidden neighborhood is home to a variety of different artists, boutiques, and restaurants. You'll want to be sure to visit them on the third Friday of the month when they host an evening art walk from 6 to 10 p.m. What do you get for the city that has everything? Well, the Sarasota Public Art Fund has joined forces with Sarasota Season of Sculpture to purchase one of this season's sculptures, John Henry's Complexus. The piece, which has been on extended loan to the city, carries a hefty price tag of $600,000. We believe that this is one of his more significant structures. And the place that we found for it here in Sarasota, it seemed to be made for this space. And so much of public art just disappears in the background of the general environment. But this piece, it just jumps out at you. This is big, bold, and beautiful. While the city commissioners have unanimously supported the fund's intent to purchase the piece, other sculptures in years past have had locals divided. Particularly with a sculptural piece, there's an opportunity for people to interact with the art. And when we're talking about abstract art, they have the opportunity to bring their own interpretations, their own insights, their own feelings to the piece. And that, to me, is what public art should be. We don't have to be in agreement. Controversy is good. We want a variety of opinions. That's the strength of a democracy. The fund has already raised over half their goal, and they're currently accepting donations through their website. You can find more information at artwhisperer.tv. This summer saw the beginning of the Celebrate Sarasota Summer Music Festival, presented by Artist Series Concerts of Sarasota. This two-week festival featured 10 different concerts in nine area venues, with the first weekend headlined by Broadway star Liz Calloway, performing alongside local performers. Sarasota and the reason I was interested in doing this also is because there is such a great arts community here and I discovered that when I was here last time two years ago um, and, and and so for me it's fun to it's it's fun for me to get to help out but it's also really interesting to get to see the local talent which I've never gotten to do before and it's also nice to be part you know the, the beginnings of this music festival yes. too, to kick it off and hopefully this will be a yearly event. If this year is any indication, we are excited to see what is in store for next year. Speaking of yearly events, Sarasota is about to get a whole lot funnier. Get ready for the fourth annual Sarasota Improv Festival at Florida Studio Theater. For two days this month, FST brings in 10 improv comedy troops from all over the country for a weekend of live performances and comedy workshops. You can purchase tickets for each individual show, or you can buy a day pass or a weekend pass. The festival will sell out, so don't wait to buy your tickets. Get more information at artwhisperer.tv. And Elvis has entered the building. The Golden Apple Dinner Theater opens their summer offering, All Shook Up. This Elvis Presley musical takes Elvis's classic songs and sets them to a story about a hip-swiveling drifter who shakes up a small town. The show is packed with all of your favorite Elvis tunes, including Heartbreak Hotel, Blue Suede Shoes, Jailhouse Rock, and of course, the title song. The show runs through September 2nd. Those are just a few of the things that are going on this month in the art scene in Sarasota. You can find the most current information at artwhisper.tv. Till then, I'm Joey Panic, and you're not. It's okay, you're you. Be you. It's better. <laughs>